you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you are well. If this is your first time, my name is Mambe. This is another video about Burkina Faso, how the parameters are training. It's so beautiful. I am scared of it though, but they are army. They know what they are doing. Let's watch them. I'll be back. Thank you so much. Commandos. Instructors teach trainees airborne tactics to enable them to be operational in the field. We're in the model workshop. Here we have a model representing the type of aircraft they'll be jumping out of. So in this workshop, we're going to instruct them on all the procedures to be carried out to board the plane inside the aircraft. And everything they have to do, right up to getting out of the plane, is taught to them here. After the theoretical phase of the training, it was time for the practical phase, and we boarded the same plane as the commandancy. Your dogs are trained to minimize stress. This is how they are training. A lot of people come there according to the news to train and then go to their various places and also train others. So, in a fight, in a military fight, they have to be singing to, you know, get rid of the stress, anxieties before they start jumping. He also mentioned that they have to get rid of anything on the ground. So they will send people on the ground first, create any surprises on the ground before they get there. Can you imagine jumping and then jumping to enemy's trap or territory? It won't be nice. So they have to uh, do that first before they go. So they were happy to invite the camera in to show us what is going on. Please let's watch more and I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. At an altitude of 2,500 meters, the drop doors open and the parachute jumps begin. One by one, the parachute commandos are released. We teach airborne techniques and tactics to trainees who have come from several different entities, and we also give trainees the opportunity to reassure themselves on the physical level that we are still training. We also give the trainees a chance to reassure themselves on the physical level, which we're still training. By instilling a taste for risk, action, self-improvement, generosity, and self-confidence. Within the framework of operations to reconquer French territory, the Parachutist Commando Group has two main missions. This is how they are doing to conquer their territories. They are working hard and they deserve all the credit because it's not easy. What they are doing is not easy, but they have to, they have to learn every technique, everything concerning this art so they can be able to conquer the, you know, the people that do not want them to have their freedom. And I'm so happy because it's not only Niger that is training, the other countries are also training and sometimes they do train together. So it's a privilege to show us what they are doing. They have a lot of things to show us, so please let's watch it i will be back thank you so much for your time in addition to their traditional mission parachutists are tasked with getting ahead of other forces on the ground to destabilize the enemy let's go and stop the enemy they'll throw us out with the help you've had a chance to see the jumps were made in the enemy's rear to destabilize and disorganize him and prepare the ground for the fighting units now we come after to consolidate or take over from this battle or this pierre the other mission of the Groupment Commando Parachutist Day is to promote cohesion within the National Armed Forces. This training program, which welcomes trainees from several FDF entities, is an example of this. We have trainees from the Air Force. We have trainees from the National Gender Mary. We have trainees who have come from the Special Forces Group and we have trainees who have come from the Army, represented here by students from the National Commando Training Center. And from us, our own soldiers, i.e. soldiers from the Arashuda Stays Commando Group, during their stay here.
Thanks to them for showing us what they are doing. It's not easy. And also BFI for going all the way with them on the flight to video this and share it with us. Thanks so much for doing that. Now we know what they are doing. Even though we can just imagine, congratulations to them. It's not easy. Um, if you are in Mali or Niger or Burkina Faso, and you come across this, please, if you know you are brave enough to join them, why not try to apply? And hopefully, if they, 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 they think you are fit to be part of them, yes, you will join them. They will train you as well to defend your country because now they need more people. They need more brave men and women to defend these three countries and other countries as well. Thank you, my families. I will leave you here. I'll play the last one for you. God bless you all. My returning subscribers, new ones, those who are passing by, I share anything concerning Africa here. Once again, thanks everyone for being with me last night. It was amazing. It was fantastic. And I'm looking forward to do the same thing with you again another time. See you soon. Bye-bye. ...between these different entities, cohesion within the national armed forces. And they learned how to plan, conduct exercises of all kinds, report back together, which are things that naturally happen in the field. Be beneficial. The aim of the journalists' immersion in the groupment commando parachute estate is to bring the army closer to its cult. The 48 hours they spent at the GCP enabled them to appreciate the courage and self-sacrifice of the parachute commandos, who make an enormous contribution to the fight against terrorism.